Okay. Right. Wait for wait for wait for Ed, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. He's got you. So right I'm enough. doing computer memory prices. Ooh, special ones are fun. <laughs> so this is my information. So it starts at 411 million, and it goes down to uh, 0.0067, and this is dollar amount per megabyte of memory. Um, so this information right here, that was from 1952, and then this is from 2018. And now most computers today, they will use gigabytes, which uh, is a thousand times uh, the cost for one megabyte right there. So if you can imagine, this would be really expensive today, or like, uh, like a two gigabyte RAM stick today in your cell phone would be very, very expensive. Oh, okay. Let's go back. There we go. It says it is. So uh, this is my stem and leaf plot. And you can see there's a lot of variation as you go through the years. This was handmade, and it was very hard to make. Um, then we can keep going. Here's my box and whisker. Now, there's not really a box because my data is so large. So you go right here. There's a line that's a little bit longer than the line right on the left. That's my box. And there's median in there somewhere. <laughs> but there, there's no way to do it without removing some of my data. So instead, I decided to make little charts. So this is a whole chart. This is basically what the box, box and whisker is telling me from 1957 to 2018. And uh, so let's uh, go back a little bit. Oh, wait, no. This is what I want. Yeah, so I sort of segmented it up into different years to get a better representation of the data. So as you can see, it's trending downward in cost uh, over the years, and then sometimes it goes up a little bit, but it continues that downward trend all the way up to 2018. Uh, so why does that happen? Well, uh, this happens due to uh, your target consumer changing, right? So um, back in the 1950s, uh, the consumer would have been like a government or a giant research lab. So they had the money to spend on innovations and computer products. And then another uh, reason why uh, the shift changed is because more people wanted to have computers, um, companies would produce uh, more RAM and higher quantities, which would cheapen the cost. And um, um, and then because uh, more people want computers um, and they want better quality computers, uh, computers will need more memory uh, for certain tasks. Um, so then because it needs more memory, that means we have to go from megabytes to, like I said, gigabytes, mm -hmm. which is a thousand fold increase. Um, and like a standard computer will have 16 gigabytes today, so that's a 16,000 or 1,600 increase in price. Or, yeah. And here are my sources. 